Daddy, losing you was, was the hardest thing in my life. I would give anything to hear your voice and see your sweet smile. You had a huge impact on my life, and even though you're gone, you still continue to do so. I feel your presence all the time, and it comforts me. I miss you so very much. I know that although you aren't here on earth, you will still be walking with me today down the aisle. It makes me thankful and happy to know that you knew the man I would be with for the rest of my life. Not a day goes by that I don't think of how much I love and miss you. Come down from heaven today and be with us as a family again. Those are my favorite memories. I love you with all my heart and my love, your little girl. Jeremy, your grams and grandpa are with you today. <laughs> They're walking beside you. <laughs> Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here to celebrate the joining together of Cynthia and Jeremy. You have come to witness to and participate in their public commitment to one another. You come in order to offer your love and support to this couple. With your presence, Jeremy and Cynthia know that they are surrounded by people who love them and care for them. <laughs> you look so handsome. Thank oh you. God. <laughs> <laughs> Now you have to turn, can you? Oh gosh, we gotta practice. <laughs> <laughs> you look so handsome. Oh my goodness. Oh, you look great. Oh wow. So this is what I had uh, made for dad, but I wanted to ah. give to you to wear today. So since I know how much he loved you. <laughs> Daddy, I know you are here with me, walking by my side today and always. You are the first man I ever loved, and now you are my angel watching over me. <laughs> As you help give me away, remember that I will always be your little girl. I love you and miss you, Cynthia. <laughs> Jeremy, from the moment we met, I knew you were very special. Today, as I walk toward you, I'm not only walking toward my husband, I'm walking toward my best friend. Over the years, we have developed a bond that is unbreakable. There is no one else that I will ever love like I love you. You have all of me forever. I look forward to all that life brings to us, and there is no one else that I would rather go through life with than you and build a life. You're an amazing man, and I'm so lucky to call you mine. I will love you until my last breath. How does a simple man like me catch a beauty like you? Since that day I spotted you at the Talons game, I have been crazy about you. I still am blown away how fate works out. I can truly say I get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend, the most beautiful girl on earth, and my soulmate. I look forward to building a family with you, along with growing on an unbreakable bond even stronger. Thank you for loving, caring, and seeing the good in my heart. I will always be your protector, your lover, and your soulmate, and your best friend. I love you more than I know how to show. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother, her father, and I. Love is patient. Love is kind. 
Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Do you, Jeremy, take Cynthia to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, to honor and to keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, then say, I do. I do. Do you, Cynthia, take Jeremy to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, to comfort him, to honor and to keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, then please say, I do. I do. God. These two have made commitments to be for and to be with one another. We ask your blessing upon this marriage. By your love, enable them to love one another all the days of their lives. Amen. Cynthia. With this ring. With this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. I now announce to you that they are husband and wife. Let no one or no thing come between them from this day forward. Jeremy, you may now kiss your wife. It is my pleasure now to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Good. I look at Cynthia. I know Jeremy's found his match. I've watched them interact with each other and I can see that they both care for one another and how they both are compliments to each other. I wish you both the best. And even though it took just a little while to get here, as the saying goes, good things come to those who wait. Congrats, guys. We love you. We had our time, but we're here and we made it. And I'm so glad that she's found somebody that will treat her good and well. And the best wishes for you guys. I love you both. I'm really happy that my sister found uh, Jeremy, and I hope that they, uh, they live a long life uh, together and be very happy. My sister, I've known her ever since birth. You know, we... Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's nobody in this room that has spent more time with her than me. And uh, we, man, we spent we spent every single day, every single moment. Um, we, you know, first of everything together um, until very recently. You know, uh, you know, we get older and we we go our own ways and we have families. But just want you to know that I'm very happy for you and I, I love you more than anything. And uh, I always have your back, just like I know you have mine. So I've known Jeremy about 20, 22 years-ish, something like that. One of the best friendships I've ever had in my life. It started to grow from there. This man has been there for me when nobody else has been. He's given me a place to live. He's opened his home to me when I didn't have anything. So Jeremy's always been one that's been real close to my heart. I have to say, whenever he met Cynthia, I didn't know what to think about Cynthia at first. Who's this woman? She's coming in here and she's taking one of my best friends. But the more that I got to know her, 
I understood why he fell in love with her. Because there is not a bad bone in this woman's body. She's one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. And I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. There's not a more perfect person for Jeremy than Cynthia. I love you guys. We love you, brother. God, you have guided these two to each other. You have joined them in love. May they be stronger together than they are apart. May their love for each other be a source of strength, not only for them, but for those around them. Amen. I've got a letter. I'm going to do my best to make it through this. So Jeremy wrote this. And it's for you, Cynthia. Tommy. I want to share to you, I want to share with you a letter Jeremy wrote to you. First, he wants to thank you for raising such an amazing person in Cynthia. He and Cynthia talk about you often. They see the dragonflies and the yellow butterflies. You send to her, you send her way, and he wants to thank you for that. It brings a calm and a smile to Cynthia every time. He wants you to know he will be, the, he will be her protector, her provider, and her best friend from this day forward. He wants you to know that Cynthia especially will be cherished, loved, respected, always, and treated with kindness and compassion. He says thank you again for allowing him to love your little girl the rest of his life. Thank you guys. Thank you.